Hi Sagittarius, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And this is going to be your love reading, Sagittarius, for the month of May. And it could be for any time, really. It just depends because timing is fluid in the tarot. And I hope you guys are all well. And Sagittarius, uh, do me a huge favor. Please don't click off on the ads because this is how YouTube keeps your channel running with advertisements. You don't have to necessarily watch them, but at least do not like just kind of sit through them or get up and get a soda or whatever it is that you guys do. I would really appreciate it. Uh, typically they're not that long, right? But yeah, please do that in order for me to continue to be able to bring you these free readings. Okay, it's really important. So let's see what we have, Sagittarius. The bottom of the deck here is the Four of Pentacles. So somebody, uh, you or your person or somebody's trying to hold on to somebody here, right? But an ending is imminent. So doesn't matter how hard they hold, right? This man is really trying to hold these pentacles uh, so very tightly. And death is looming in the back. Okay, so let's see what that's about. And right now, let's go ahead and cut these cards. I don't think they've been cut, but they certainly have been shuffled. And let's see what we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Don't forget to, uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, you guys, let's see what we have. In case you like my content. Hi, Priestess. We're doing a past, present, and future. Wow, dude. I feel like these cards are similar to the uh, Virgo, even though I've shuffled these, this deck four times, <laughs> four or five times. This is the past dynamic right here, guys, is the current dynamic. You're in the reverse here, Sagittarius, the Wheel of Fortune, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like that is you. This is your reading. Let's take a look at, let's see why the High Priestess is showing up with the Lovers. They're both in reverse. So there could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Well, the High Priestess is Pisces or Scorpio. We have Gemini here with the Lovers, and Leo is showing up with the Sun card. We also have Aries showing up here with the Magician. Six of Cups, Knight of Wands. So in the past, I feel like there was some type of a breakup with the lovers in the reverse. And there could have been a water sign involved here. Somebody is uh, in your past, Sagittarius, or somebody from your past with the Six of Cups. Knight of Wands is here. Could have been somebody was a player in the past. It could, it could simply be you showing up because you are the Knight of Wands. Let's clarify the lovers for Sagittarius. Wow, see, Five of Cups, somebody was really sad here. There was some type of an ending in the past, yeah. Could have been over a secret, maybe you were a secret. Somebody was really sad. This is an ending here in the past, Five of Cups. It doesn't always have to be a final ending, but it is typically an ending with grieving and regret. Over a breakup, over somebody else having victory, I feel like, Chariot. I feel like this, this is a third party reading in some way. And let's look at the Eight of Pentacles. Why is that there? Page of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Wow. So in the past, it looked like somebody walked away to have a new start and somebody left somebody else, right? The lovers in the reverse next to the Five of Cups. This is definitely a breakup. Or somebody is really, maybe somebody's afraid that it's going to happen. It was going to happen in the past. Kind of biting, uh, you know, maybe biting their time. Kind of, and biting their nails at the same time, right? Yeah, it could be. Let's see. Uh, the sun card's in the reverse. Let's get a card on that. Somebody was not sure. They couldn't get clarity if somebody was going to walk away. Mm-hmm. I feel like. To have some type of a new start. Mm -hmm. Three of Pentacles. I feel like somebody couldn't gain clarity here if, the, if somebody was going to walk away. Maybe if you were going to walk away, Sagittarius. You know, this is your reading, but for me, this is somebody else's energy. Like your person's energy, possibly. I feel like this is your person's energy. They couldn't gain clarity if they were going to leave a situation. Mm -hmm. And they could have been really sad here about a breakup. In order to have victory with you. Yes, the chariot card. 
I feel like this is somebody from your past. They could be dealing with a water sign because there's sadness here, definitely. And in the current dynamic is the magician with the page of pentacles. And see the page of pentacles is here because this deck I have I need to take one of these out. <laughs> Okay, but if this card comes out, right, because I have two of these identical decks, but if the card comes out here, it is meant to be here. Let's clarify that page of pentacles. Why is that there? This is in the current dynamic. The Empress in the reverse. So this is, for me, this is third party energy that somebody wants to, like, activate. <laughs> That's a terrible word, right, for love? They, they, they want to realize this. They want to have this. They want to bring this to fruition. Yeah. It's a new beginning, a new start. Mm-hmm. They want to birth a new start with you. This is, you could be wanting to do it with them. You could be wondering if they're going to come forward and do it with you. I feel like this is you here. And this is somebody else's energy here, your person's. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is what you're doing. You're wondering if they're coming because they're in union with somebody else. Yeah. Wow. Why is the magician there for Sagittarius? Page of Cups. This is a new beginning. This is an offer of love. This is, wow, the Queen of Cups is here. Could be a player here that is, you know, in the midst. If you're dealing with somebody who's a bit of a player, I feel like I feel like you're dealing with somebody who asks somebody else. Why is that Queen of Cups there? Maybe you're dealing with a water sign. Why is that Queen of Cups there yourself? I feel like you're you could be dealing with somebody else, and this Queen of Cups could maybe be the person they are grieving for in order to come to you. The Emperor, Queen of Swords. This is somebody who is deciding here or discerning. Not deciding. Well, it's, it's, it's similar. The discerning is to make a decision, right? Maybe there is, for some, there could be an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, when we see the Queen of Swords. Somebody looks like they're trying to step into their power. Possibly. But they're trying to, this could be you or your person. And this can be, this is the current dynamic, so this can be, you know, other people involved, of course. Right? Not just you. These readings are all like that, though, right? Yeah, they are. It's, unless you don't know anybody or, you know. <laughs> Let's get a card on the Seven of Cups in the reverse. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what we got. Eight of Cups. I feel like somebody already made up their mind here that they want to leave a situation. But they're concerned here if they can make it work with you. Yeah. I feel like what this is, is it could also be that somebody here, your person, or maybe even their person, is trying to figure out if either their have somebody has like their person has a new beginning with you, and somebody could be trying for your boy your your boyfriend your person could be <laughs> your person could be trying to figure out like whether or not uh, possibly a, a water sign could handle it could could like handle the situation. Let's get a card on this Queen of Swords. Wow. Because over here, to me, it looks pretty clear that um, somebody, like, there's no longer any confusion that somebody wants to, like, walk away. Let's get a card first on, the, on that. Why is that Eight of Cups there? Four of Swords. I feel like somebody's no longer confused, like your person is no longer confused, they want to leave a situation, if this is their energy, and uh, they're no longer concerned, like confused about it, but they're reflecting on it. 
Like they know what they want, but they are still in reflection over it. And that makes perfect sense if they're in union with somebody else. So let's look at the current dynamic over here where uh, the Queen of Swords is discerning like a love offer, maybe, surrounding a water sign. Why is that Queen of Swords there? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for the water sign, Six of Swords. I feel like you're trying to figure out maybe if somebody's leaving to be with you. Yeah, because this is how it looked over here. Mm-hmm. Somewhat. Mm-hmm. Like over here, it looked like somebody gained clarity that somebody, maybe somebody cannot, I beg your pardon. Like maybe you could not in the past gain clarity if they were going to walk away and work on it with you. Yes. It's an interesting reading. Mm -hmm. There's three people here, definitely. I feel like they're kind of all weighing in uh, in some ways equally with their feelings and their, their thoughts. Let's see, let's see about this Wheel of Fortune. Why is that there? <coughs> this is the current dynamic. Somebody wants to like rush in and be single. <coughs> I feel like this is your person. I feel like this could be this other person though, maybe wanting to stop them from being single. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me one second, you guys. Let me get a little bit of water here. Let's look at the current dynamic. I mean, the near future. Let's see what it has to say. I feel like that's the most important. <laughs> see what we have for Sagittarius and their person, right? So the extent is going to be all about your person. So we're going to find out kind of like, uh, like exactly where their energy lies, right? Let's see what we have right now in the near future is the Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay, temperance. This is you, Sagittarius. I feel like this person is trying to fight their fears to come to you. Nine of Swords, the Fool card. Yes, they are. And over here, you know, in the past, uh, I feel like this person wanted to be with you, and they were with a water sign for some. And this person, like, they're, in the past, they were not so sure here. Yeah, they were trying to gain clarity if they wanted to walk away. Here in the current dynamic, they know they want to walk away. Yeah, they know. Yeah, they know they want to be with you and that they have to leave another situation. Wow. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm not going to clarify these because these are clear, right? We have four cards here. Uh, you could be dealing with a Virgo, like I said. Maybe this is just soul searching. But I feel like you're dealing with a Virgo. Here you are, temperance, for some. And But it doesn't matter if this is a Virgo, uh, a Taurus, a Capricorn. It doesn't really matter. I feel like the story is not going to change here. In the near future, they're trying to fight their fears about taking a leap of faith on you. About you. Yes, they are. The Nine of Swords is facing this temperance card. We're going to pull some Oracle cards. All the extended readings are super affordable, you guys. Yes, we, yes they are. We're going to do it a little different. We're going to find out the outside influences here because there are the challenges of the block. That's for you, Sagittarius, what they could be hiding or what is hidden that you don't see, how they feel about you, what they fear, and what they really want. So we're going to find out what they really want over on Vimeo. Uh, please, please give a like. I really appreciate you guys. Remember to uh, share and subscribe. And please take care, you guys. Wishing you a ton of power and light.